IVF explained simply. Since the first IVF baby Louis Brown was born in England in 1978, more than 5 million children have been born using this technique. We are going to explain in plain language each step of the IVF process. Once medical histories have been studied, ovarian stimulation is the first step. It starts from the onset of menstruation and lasts about 9 days. Its purpose is to obtain an adequate number of good quality eggs. In order to adapt the medication to the body's response, which varies even within each cycle, we continue the ovarian follicle development through ultrasound scans and occasional blood test. To achieve this, we follow the medication timetable outlined and prescribed by the chronologist, which is designed for the each patient. When the time comes, we will use them in the injection of HCG ovitril to provoke the final maturity of all the eggs that have been developed and monitored. This will be synchronized 36 hours beforehand. The eggs are collected and in about 10 minutes in and out patient basis. The procedure is completed under light sedation and with the help of vaginal ultrasound and with minimum discomfort and risk to the patient. The gynecologist as per the follicular fluid which is then immediately studied by the biologist who then prepare retrieved eggs for the fertilization. At the same time, biologist prepares and capacitized semen to increase its fertilizing abilities. Whenever possible, we prefer to be as natural as possible unless we apply classic IVF that is, we leave thousands of spermatroids around the eggs so that the strongest among them fertilizes it. If the semen quality is reduced, we apply the Etsy technique which gives nature helping hand. It involves putting a single pre-selected sperm inside the egg. We also know that just as it happens in the nature, only some of the eggs that are retrieved are normal and only some of these are fertilized. Not all fertilized embryos develop normally. Throughout the process which can last up to 5 days, we evaluate the characteristics of the embryonic development and transfer one or two of the embryos which have the best chance of pregnancy. What are the advantages? Firstly, it represents the natural selection of the best embryos as the weaker ones will not survive the days following fertilization and so the survivors are the most likely to succeed. Secondly, it allows for the possibility of being able to free suitable embryos for future transfers using a technique called vitrification. At the time of egg pickup, we find out the number of eggs showing the first signs of fertilization. 48 hours later, on day 3, the embryos now have between 7 and 9 cells and depending on their quality, number and quantity, the time for transfers decided. From the fourth day, the embryos are called plastices. The cells are already compacted and can even be seen moving. The fifth day is the maximum amount of time the embryos can be outside the womb. Now the most anticipated and desired event takes place, the transfer. There is no need for sedation. It is a painless process for veganicologist. It transfers the resulting embryo inside the womb using a thin ultrasound guided catheter which allows him or her to see the uterus to deposit the embryo. After about 14 to 15 days, a blood test is performed to confirm the success of the procedure. This looks at the presence of BHCG in the blood. This is the hormone that early embryos produce. Its value helps us to evaluate the pregnancy as well as the possibility of having twins. Pregnancy and future children conceived through assistive reproduction techniques developed in the same way as those achieved normally.